You, know, you can see Jamaican guys walk up to a girl at a bar go, Hey, gal, come here. You want to dance, man? You don't see Indian guys faking their accent, you know? Excuse me, but you're wanting to dance? Before making it to the number three spot on Forbes' top earning comics list, and before he sold out arenas around the globe, Russell Peters was a regular kid who faced discrimination, he was often bullied, and he has an attention deficit disorder. I'm Michael McCrudden, and welcome to Before They Were Famous, where we detail Russell Peters' life leading up to fame. Russell's father, Eric Peters, was born in Bombay, India and immigrated to Toronto, Ontario where he found work as a federal meat inspector. Now, although in Russell's comedic acts he uh, depicts his father with a heavy Indian accent, his father is Anglo-Indian and actually has a British accent. Like many South Asian kids growing up in Canada in the 70s and the 80s, Russell faced discrimination and racism. He was bullied by his classmates. Adding insult to injury, he was enrolled in a special school he calls the Retard School because he had some issues learning. It was an undiagnosed form of ADHD. Eventually, Russell took up boxing and was able to defend himself from the bullies and even throw some weight around so he wasn't a target. He also was a hip-hop junkie and became a DJ throughout the 90s working at Indian events, nightclubs, and was very popular on the Toronto scene. Russell Peters began performing at the Toronto Yuck Yucks in 1989 at the age of 19 and for four years he was at the amateur level. He worked for the next decade earning on average about $40,000 a year, taking gigs everywhere he could, sometimes driving as far as 400 miles for a gig that only paid 50 bucks. Russell Peters recalls a meeting with George Carlin in 1992 just randomly on the streets of Toronto to be an impactful moment in this aspiring comedian's career. George Carlin gave Russell some advice, telling him to take the stage whenever and wherever possible, which was advice Russell took to heart and ran with. The spark that started the fire launching Russell Peters' career came in 2005. He did a stand-up routine on Comedy Now that broadcasts on Canadian television. This was uploaded to YouTube. From there, people from uh, different multicultural groups Asian, Black, Indian began cutting and editing the aspects that related to their culture and then those got passed around into different multicultural groups. Everyone related, everyone loved the comedy and Russell Peters became a household name. I'm like, that's 50 cents, man. He goes, 50 cents a lot of money. You save 50 cents here, then maybe you go somewhere else, you save another 50 cents. Then you have one dollar. Then you take your dollar, you go to the dollar store, you buy something else. 2006, Russell Peters' ticket sales soared and he was selling out arenas around Canada. In 2007, he sold out Madison Square Gardens and he continued to sell out arenas, stadiums, concert halls around the globe. I'm Michael McCrudden. Thank you for watching Before They Were Famous. I profile all sorts of celebrities and people on the top of the Hollywood pile and detail their lives leading up to their big break. Let me know. What's your favorite Russell Peters routine? Let me know in the comments below.